What is the pinnacle of Ray Dalio investing? The advantages of diversification are widely recognized, including lower risk due to exposure to many revenue streams. Ray Dalio calls diversity the holy ground of investing in his book, Principles. While major events like pandemics and world wars can occur just once in a person's lifetime, or perhaps never, Dalio highlights the significance of researching historical economic trends that occur over extended cycles. Governments are using debt more and more frequently, which is problematic since more tax money is needed to pay off debt, which limits the amount of money available for economic growth and redistribution. Rising interest rates could result from the US government's increased borrowing and overabundance of new bonds issued into the bond market, which could slow down the economy. China is challenging the US in terms of the global order that exists now, underscoring the existence of external geopolitical disputes. Ray Dalio continues to discover shocks in the economy after studying macroeconomics and financial markets for decades. This emphasizes the intricacy of financial markets and the value of diversity. While established businesses with vast resources and a strong competitive edge, like Microsoft and Google, are more likely to successfully adopt new technologies in order to improve their market position. Cash generally, over the very long term, will lose out quite considerably to other asset classes like stocks or property. Earlier, on October 24th, 2023, in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, a panel discussion for the Future Investment Initiative event, Bridgewater Associates founder Ray Dalio presented a pessimistic forecast for the world economy in 2024. The conversation was facilitated by Carlisle co-founder David Rubenstein. Just two years after earning his MBA from Harvard Business School, the 74-year-old American, whose net worth is estimated by Forbes to be over $15.4 billion, founded the asset management group Bridgewater Associates from his New York City apartment. Dalio cited a number of variables, such as monetary policy, political unpredictability, and a volatile environment as contributing to his pessimistic view. He said that it's challenging to keep an optimistic outlook for the world's economy for the upcoming year because of these factors. Although Dalio acknowledged that remarkable technological breakthroughs may lead to amazing outcomes, he cautioned that these could sometimes be troublesome. He made it clear that the monetary policies that would be put into place would have a big effect on the world, which added to his pessimism. In addition, Dalio mentioned the growing disparities in the world, most likely alluding to inequality, though he did not go into further detail. He underlined that how people interact with one another going forward is the true problem. He said that in order for the world to adapt and flourish, peacekeeping and the promotion of a healthy competitive environment free from war would be essential. Dalio had previously discussed the status of the world economy and the value of diversification in investment portfolio. Using the proverb, he who lives by the crystal ball is destined to be ground glass, Dalio warned investors against depending only on market forecasts and highlighted the limitations of forecasting. Rather, he emphasized the significance of knowing how to properly diversify and balance a portfolio. A well diversified portfolio, in Dalio's opinion, ought to contain a variety of nations, currencies, and asset type. He cautioned against basing financial decisions only on hearsay, especially from conference speakers. He disclosed that Bridgewater Associates had made technology investments up to $1 billion in order to obtain a competitive advantage in the industry. In his discussion of the advantages of diversification, Dalio said that it may lower investment risk by as much as 80% without compromising expected profits. When making financial decisions, he urged investors to take the allure of various asset classes into account. Dalio now considers cash to be a somewhat appealing asset class, which is a big change from his earlier belief that cash is trash. He clarified that investors can still make money with cash because it now yields a real return of roughly 1.5%. Cash is more appealing because it's not subject to price risk, in contrast to other asset classes. In a December 2021 Yahoo Finance interview, Dalio discussed his strong opinions about diversification and the significance of cash as an investment strategy. Despite being cited as saying cash is trash, he clarified that, in his opinion, cash is the riskiest investment option since its purchasing power depreciates with time. Rather than valuing assets and returns in nominal values, Dalio recommended investors consider them in terms of inflation-adjusted dollars. He said that keeping cash on hand was the worst kind of investment, since it would lose value by 4-5% owing to inflation. Ray Dalio, the multi-billionaire investor, offered some simple guidance on investing. The cost of gasoline is once again rising, and so is inflation. Over the coming months, the Federal Reserve hasn't ruled out raising interest rates one more time. Furthermore, it appears that this year's good advance in the stock market has stopped. How ought investors to proceed? Answering the question at the Milken Institute Asia Summit in Singapore was billionaire Ray Dalio. 
In today's unstable market, the successful hedge fund manager advised investors to do four things, and one thing they should never do. The first tip from Delio for capital allocation for investors is to concentrate on the appropriate geographical markets. However, which regions are the best? Which parts of the planet are hot and which aren't at the moment is very obvious. The 500 biggest American corporation stocks are owned by the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. European equities are held by the Vanguard FDSE Europe ETF. These equities of businesses with headquarters in China, India, Japan, and Latin America are the focus of four distinct iShares ETFs. Investors will make the greatest overall gains in the Western Hemisphere in 2023. Stocks in the United States and Latin America have returned significantly more than stocks in the majority of other regions of the world. On the other hand, this year has seen an equally spectacular recovery for Japanese stocks. Investors shouldn't dismiss the evident momentum in the Americas and Japan, even though there's no assurances these trends will last. Sometimes people refer to diversification as the only free lunch in investing. Dalio's remarks at the Milken Institute Asia Summit stop short of that. He does concur, though, that investors ought to create a diverse portfolio. Dalio concurs that it's critical for investors to keep an eye out for market upheavals. He believes that disruptive technologies in particular can be very important for generating future returns. Where is Bridgewater Associates, Dalio's hedge fund, most heavily invested? His top holdings include a number of blue chip stocks that you might not necessarily consider disruptive. Nonetheless, Bridgewater holds sizable positions in Intuitive Surgical, Meta Platforms, and Alphabet, the parent company of Google. Following the global success of OpenAI's ChatGPT generative AI program, several investors appear to write Alphabet off. However, the business bounced back with its own advances in artificial intelligence, and is currently developing a generative AI model that is purportedly more potent than ChatGPT. Another pioneer in AI, Meta, is releasing part of their technology under open source license. The business is also making significant bets on the metaverse and virtual reality. The the field of robotic surgical systems was pioneered by Intuitive Surgical. In that market, the corporation is still the 800 pound gorilla. What then should investors in Dalio's opinion stay away from? Bonds. In response to a question concerning his own investing strategy in the current climate, he said, I don't want to own debt, you know, bonds and those kind of things. In the not too distant future though, will wooden falling interest rates lead to rising bond prices? Sure, but Dalio is viewing the world more broadly, particularly when it comes to the growing problem of global debt. He said, I personally believe the longer term bonds are not a good investment. Pure Alpha uses computer models and algorithms to predict macroeconomic trends in order to place directional bets on a range of assets, including equities, bonds, commodities, and currencies. Although many contemporary macro hedge funds fit this definition, Ray Dalio was among the first to rely heavily on computer modeling to support his theories about how the economy operates and asset prices fluctuate. The exchange rate between the US dollar and the Japanese yen is one example of a trade. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also express your valuable thoughts in the comments section below.